Lee, yo, what it got, damn, be yo. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2020. Show me the money. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my new Bs. Thank you to everyone who has clicked, subscribed, or has shared any of my videos. Um, I want to give a lot of love and support to everyone who has been sending decks and sending any type of love and just like thank you, love through the Cash App, through the PayPal, and the Amazon wish list. I don't went back to the old school, y'all. If y'all remember. Last year, when I first began, I used to read with like 8 to 10 different decks <laughs> all at one time. Um, so I have about I have 4 on this side, 4 on this side. And um, I'm not going to be picking from all of the decks, but I just want to just like go and flow to whichever side and whichever deck that energy is guiding me to so we just got a lot of flavor out here and we do have some new decks um so i want to show and give love to everyone who has sent over these decks we have the star sea oracle deck which i believe this is a brand new deck that you guys just sent through the amazon wish list thank you guys so much for that we have the circle of life tarot deck all right as well as the modern witch tarot deck which you guys might have seen me use before but it's still a relatively new deck we also have the what is this here we also have the archetypes um oracle deck here so um a lot of new love a lot of new energy so let's get into this leo as you know as we always do we always give praises and thanks to the creator um so Oh, if, if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with me, all you have to do is click that about tab, all right? So it has my pricing list as well as how to get in contact with me on Instagram for your video reading. If you do not have an Instagram, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And you can send me a message on Google Hangouts so we can do the video chat there, okay? So again, if you have any questions or concerns, you can just reach out to me on Instagram or just use that email, um, again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So I think that's it in regards to the announcements. And again, if you guys want to show any light and love, um, all of those links and stuff is in the about tab as well. So let's give God, let's give the creator some thanks. All right. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. The sun is shining bright today. There's no cloudy skies, Father God. You know, um, I hope that everyone is getting out and getting some sun and everyone is not being trapped in the house to the point where they're not outside enjoying nature father god um regardless of whatever type of sickness and chaos is just floating around the world right now we're remaining strong we're remaining mentally diligent we're trying to keep our mind busy we're trying to keep our mind focused and sharp you know what i'm saying um this is not the time for any signs of weakness so like any type of little house projects or little things that leo should have been did a long time ago they're doing it now you know what i'm saying so it's like you know it really isn't that bad for leo because they're getting to do things that they probably should have did in the house that they really didn't have time to do and spending more time with their children getting out in their yard cutting the grass planting stuff just you know just really enjoying just sitting outside barbecuing just doing little simple home things that we just do not really appreciate and people just take advantage of sometimes you know what i'm saying they don't take it you know they take advantage of it when they have it and they don't appreciate it till it's gone you know what i'm saying and there's certain things that they should be taking advantage of and then they don't you know, so we're just in that moment right now, just peace and literally prosperity, just recognizing how much blessings that we have available to us. And we're just thankful. So thank you so much, Father God, for keeping us in safekeeping and keeping us, like I said, strong. And always make sure that we last long. So, Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Leo. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Uh, we're going to continue holding on and we're going to continue holding your hand in guidance. Amen. Amen. So... With that being said, we're going right on to the archetypes. As you know, Leo be about that business. They be about that business. They're like, let me know what type of role. What, what you want me to focus on right now? Leo said, God, I got my focus on you. So, let me know how you focusing on me. Alright, so let's see. 
Let's see. Give me guidance for my Leos. Thank you so much for April. Give me guidance for my Leos for April. That's a lot. Mm -mm. That is too much, baby. Give me guidance for Leo. What's that? The flame. I seen that one. I seen that. I think that was at the top. So this is the flame. Like I said, y'all about that action. The mirror. It's like y'all seen this shit before. Y'all already know it's time for action right now. Like y'all already seen this happen before. Or something like some energy is being mirrored. And not only that, I feel like a lot of you guys have been lighting your candle and have been focusing your direct energy in the man, in the mirror, and like talking to God and just practicing, just like praying rituals right now, making sure that you're honoring God and that you lighting a candle and you just, you know, speaking to God every day and just like really putting your passion into like your spirituality right now it's something about your reflection right now it's like you really like what it's seeing i think that you like are emotionally focused you see that full moon in the back with this here it's like you're emotionally liking the reflection that you see it's like whatever it is that you're doing it's like somehow you're able to be reflective in your passions. It's like you have that time at home, like you're home alone and you're having time to like focus on getting that flame lit for your passions and you're really appreciating your reflections and what you see right now. I feel like you feel some type of emotional purity. Like even when they say when you sometimes when you burn something in the flame, it purifies something. You know what I'm saying? Like have you ever had to like a splinter in your foot or something and you needed to sterilize the needle before you, you, you know, you try to get the splinter out. Don't they always sterilize it and they always put the, uh, the, the tip of the needle in the flame? You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing something about like some type of purification by flame, by action. You know what I'm saying? By you initiating something. Where it's keeping your emotional balance where you are loving this reflection. Like, this is what I want to see. This is where I want to be. What does this say? Eternal child. The eternal child. So, again, you see how, do you see how that sun is like in the middle? It's something about your flame has been lit since your birth you know it's like you're the eternal child of the sun you know you were risen to shine and to bring light you know it's said to elevate each other you see how like this it's these two hands or something like that it's something about like gripping your passions the forest it's something about you really gripping your passions and allowing your passions to emanate outside of this forest it's like someone that has been lost in this dark forest for some reason and it was like you couldn't see your way out but the thing is it's like looking for a passion or for power and for light from an external force from an external substance when it's within you it was something about you grabbing that light within yourself and that passion and that power to break through and to get your ass out of this forest and it's like once you realize that you were the eternal child of the light and you lit that fire within yourself because it's like you you have been here before like you've experienced this before i know what i gotta do whatever i didn't do last time i'm not going to do it this time i'm about to get this shit going and it was like your light from the inside of you illuminated the whole sky to show you how to get the fuck up out of this dark forest. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I keep getting this vision. I keep getting this vision, y'all. It's like, because I like to sing. And sometimes when I sing, I can sing with so much energy and vigor and passion. I make myself cry. And I'm like, I always say to myself, I'm like, yo, one day you're going to be outside. And I always go outside and I sing in my yard because it's like I've always uh, 
I plant like flowers and like herbs and I just planted some trees, you know what I'm saying, in my yard, some fruit trees and stuff. So I always go check on them and every time I'm in my yard doing my yard work, it's like I'm always singing. But it's like sometimes I can sing like songs to God, like <laughs> the eternal flame to the eternal father to the father it's like I, yo and it's like I sing with so much vigor so much passion bro it's like tears be rolling from my eyes and it's like girl you keep singing with all of that passion and that soul out there like that you gonna make this <laughs> you gonna make this the sky cry it's like I feel like I feel like if I really put my intensity into singing I feel like the, the Lord hears me. Like, it could make the sky rain. Like, I could make it rain if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? And I know that sounds crazy, but every time I think of it, I think of, like, the Native American shamans and stuff like that. Like, they would use their voice and they would cry out to the universe and they can make the sun come out. They can make it rain. If it was a drought, it's like they would sing out their energy and their message and they would summons, you know what I'm saying? They would summons it. They would summons the light if they couldn't see, you know what I'm saying? So it's something about you realizing that you are the light. You don't need light from nobody else. If you call it loud enough, you'll make the sun shine brighter than anything that anyone could have ever seen. You know what I'm saying? It's you are the eternal child of the light. What is this? This and then I just <laughs> bitch. Then it's the motherfucking seed. I'm serious. It's like. You are the seed. You are the eternal child of the light. And it's time for you to see your way out of this forest to plant more seeds. So this could be about your reflection being in your child. And you see this child having the same gift, the same light, the same passion. And you needing to see and light your own path throughout whatever dark forest it is that you've been trying to travel through. Because you're going to have to teach your seed how to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to teach the seed how to use their light. I want to go here. This eternal child. I, I, I am sensing like a pregnancy though, y'all. I am sensing a pregnancy. Because there's been a lot of passion. There's, there could have been a lot of sex. Especially you guys being indoors and things like that. What is this? The cosmic heart devotion potency. Making your life a moving prayer. Like I said, devoting yourself to prayer, like talking to God, like as if that's your best friend. And like I said, like in a peaceful reflection and just the harmonious way, like you've been birthed as the eternal child of God. You've lit the way to plant seeds. Losing your grip. You're not alone in earth. Why do all of these come out in the reverse? I'm not going to read these in the goddamn reverse. But I feel like some of these are meant to be read in the reverse. This was in the reverse too. This was in the reverse. So it says the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, making your life a moving prayer. And it's they're telling me and believing your words and standing in it so that they can stand true. That's that flame. Like I said, singing to the gods towards the way that you could move the clouds. You could reach the sun if you wanted to loosen your grip. So what this is basically telling me before even getting into the car, it's like I want you to kind of loosen up a little bit and kind of let go and just be free. Whatever it is naturally calling you to do during this time, even if it's like you building something, it's almost like construction or something like Fuck it, go with your kids and go build a birdhouse or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's still doing something to help with nature, you know? But, yeah, they're telling me, like, it's like some man building something with his hands. It's like, you need to get back to that, you know? It's something about you falling away from, like, your eternal gifts, your eternal passions. Like, 
your builder, your creator. You know what I'm saying? You're a builder. You're a creator. And it says you're not alone. So what this is basically saying to me is like you're not the only person that um, is experiencing some, some type of frustration about having to be stagnant at this point of time. It's like everyone else is like resonating in the same energy. But it's about people being still at this point to remember who they are so they can stay focused and have a certain level of like connected balance between their universal alignment and then their earthly alignment you know what i'm saying what you will put here on earth to do like in your day-to-day -day priorities and you know day and night shift thinking in this earthly realm and then there's like a spiritual um ability and gift that you have where it's like feed your soul purpose you know what i'm saying so it's like you're not alone and if you do see like both of these cards it has two people on it where it says lose your grip and like you're not alone so it's like you and someone else that's i feel very it is very close to you that is experiencing this lesson too i feel like the reason why all of this has come together is because as close as you guys are, I feel like y'all have kind of like lost y'all grip and y'all are not as connective as y'all used to be. And two people need to come together and communicate a little bit better. It was about you guys losing grip as to y'all's devotion. You know what I'm saying? Your potency in this relationship. And this relationship was falling apart. And the reason why all of this stuff happened was to, I feel, to create an eternal child. There might have been a child created during this time. Because all of this shit happened for a fucking reason. It says Earth. For y'all to be Earth back together as one. Like there, there was somebody that created a baby throughout this day. Coping mechanism, destinies, addictions, letting God in, isolated, physical connection, community, exactly. So, like, you guys have been closely together, but at the same time, losing your grip with each other and being isolated at the same time. And have y'all ever been in a relationship with someone, but feeling like you're by yourself? But it's like you're not alone. God set everyone down to pull everybody closer to get this cosmic heart back together because for some reason y'all had lost each other y'all had lost that communication y'all had lost that passion y'all lost that potency that loyalty all of that shit like that it's it's mm -mm, y'all were drifting y'all were drifting this eternal child I, is is definitely going to bring you guys back together there was a flame there was a lot of passion like i said in regardless when you look in the mirror you like what you see emotion like emotionally things are good and you're finally kind of getting this little piece of happiness i'm trying to tell you this eternal child right here this 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 prince helps see y'all out of a forest and all in the sky it looks like nothing but pure ecstasy and ganja <laughs> y'all been sitting up in the house enjoying like y'all really it's, it's been a lot of wine sipping. Y'all been relaxing, listening to a lot of cool ass music. I'm getting a lot of cool ass vibes right here. And there was definitely a seed. There was definitely a seed. Earth. Learning how to be human in the world, but not from it. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that feels like I'm something so different. And it's like I finally been Earth, like learning kind of like. It's about you taking yourself out of this feeling of you just being isolated from feeling like you're so different. It, it, it has to do with a level of connectiveness right here in some type of relationship where a seed is being planted and the seed is growing. And it was for a divine purpose. Because someone was losing their grip in life and love. Because they were isolating themselves. This made you come together because it was like you were really going to be isolated. What is this? This is the nine of swords in the reverse. So like this is whatever it 
was in this isolation where y'all had some fears and some stress and worries about like letting someone in emotionally I, these things have been removed um and not only that like you're tired of being alone and they, and they were your own stress and worries like they were your own stress and worries and anxieties it didn't make it true you know what i'm saying it was just your thoughts it was just your fears and i think someone really understood that it's like maybe me not being so isolated and yeah i'm different but i have a lot more in common with whoever this person is then this is the world in the reverse so with this being said it's okay with the seed so this seed was planted because there was still one more thing that you had to experience you have to learn in this stage before you can move into the next one and I really do feel like it was for this child to be born because to some extent it's like you want this child to be mirrored just like you but in the right way you want to do right by this child you know because you are very passionate you are very energetic and you're very experienced you know what i'm saying and whatever your craft and skill is and it's something about you build you build stuff with your hands it's like it's like a technical it's a physical skill and it's like i want somebody that i could pass this down to it's like a son like a prince or something like that And whoever this is, I feel like this person does already have children. But it's something about um, the connectiveness or the relationship with whoever the child's mother is. I don't feel like this person, whoever the first child is, and it's no offense and it's no disrespect, but something went wrong where I feel like immaturity with the parents in the early stages of that child's development interfere with their relationship now and like this person feels like they're not able to fully be a parent with that child because of both of the parents mistakes and like the man does the best that he can but with this one he's not fucking up you know what i'm saying and it's no disrespect to the first child but it's like i can't do what the mother won't let me you know what i'm saying so what is this the two of swords in the reverse so this is the person remaining strong mentally and still making this decision to stretch forward knowing that they have the strength and endurance to make the right decisions do you understand what i'm saying because this takes a lot of inner strength and a, a, a ability to kind of get over mental fears and blockages do you understand what i'm saying and honestly like the worst is over but it's like you got to know that. So it's like this is someone having to do some type of mental training. That's the thing that this person has to learn not to pass on to the seed. It's like don't allow low vibrational stress and fears to make you doubt how strong you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't have no blindfold over your eyes. If anything, your third eye is wide open. You're one of the most biggest, most widely praised, prized possessions of this earth. The elephant. One of the most biggest and wisest creatures known to the face of this man. So don't allow your mind to tell you anything different. It's about this passion. It's about this flame. It's about this strength. And knowing who you were born to be. You are the eternal child of the sun. What is this? This is the devil in the reverse. So again, like I said, it's about controlling low vibrational fears and worries and stress. And, you know, it's like manipulation from outside forces. You know what? Oh. Do -do. So these could be friends. These could be past lovers. These could be past experiences that just in your mind where you might be beating yourself up and making yourself feel like you can't be better, you can't achieve better, blah, 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 blah. And it's something about this mirror. I'm tired of seeing that reflection. 
I want to be the eternal child of the God. That's why I light this candle every day and I devote my passion and I pray to God about me changing what I see in this mirror every day. You know? Because it's something about using your own flame, your own intensity, your own light to see you about this dark forest. And that's this. Not allowing any of those stress and those fears or those worries. Even some of the shit that I did in the past, I know I'm not... I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not nobody's angel. But I am not my past. I am my future. So don't let those old fears and those old stress and those old anxieties, don't let them tell you that you're not better and that you can't close this chapter and move on. Because that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to defeat this. What is this? This is the temperance. Again, again, listen. When the devil comes out, when you're trying to block the devil, you always temper yourself and balance yourself with faith, prosperity, abundance. That is all within you. Faith and prosperity and abundance is something that lies within. Within. You got to let that inner soul glow because I'm trying to tell you it's about tempering your self and understanding that all of this shit is a motherfucking process but the first process is, is conquering thyself if you can't conquer yourself you can't get you can't get control of your environment and you have to be firmly aware of who you are and if you don't like the reflection that you're seeing in the mirror you got to be passionate enough about making that change and putting your soul into it and listening to your intuition with that moon right there that's the true secret this motherfucker don't have no power nor did he ever that's why you were so eager to turn away major arcana with a major arcana you know and you said i'm not ready yet or as this seed is growing I'm getting this shit together and I'm getting myself intemperate and I'm getting myself balanced. There go the Hierophants. There go God. There go structure. There go belief. There goes that true faith. That means you're being like taken upon the wing of the Lord and of the high, you know, like the Pope. You know what I'm saying? And being taught. A new legacy to run down to you. Like not this. Not this bull crap. <laughs> it's like. I'm teaching you. About. True honor. To sit from the cup of royalty. Because you honor yourself. You're loyal to yourself. You know. You practice strength and loyalty and dedication every day. Every day that you get up and you light that candle and you say your prayer and you thank God for the food that you're about to eat, for you waking up and having fresh air and clean clothes and being able to do the best that you can for your children. Shit, even while we're going through this um, uh, quarantine and all this covert stuff like that, it's like because you have turned away from trying to allow this stuff to dictate your strength and how you feel you tempering yourself and really taking that guidance and learning like divine strength and divine power from the Lord it's like it's helping you get back these connections it's helping you pull yourself out of this isolation it's help earthing you it's help it's helping you to think better of yourself. What is this? The lovers. <laughs> you got the lovers. <laughs> but y'all, you got major arcana after major arcana after major arcana. Boom, 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 boom. The devil in reverse. We rebuking him. Okay? You tempered yourself under the guidance of the, of the hierophant. And now you're going into the lovers. Now, come on now. What is this? And it's the ace of cups. The Ace of Cups. New love. And it's like, you see how this person is diving into like this new experience. But number one, it had to start with self. It had to start with self. And truly, the number one soulmate that you truly need to honor and connect yourself is your relationship with spirit and with God. The creator or whoever it is that you pray to. It's about finding that love and about finding that connection and bonding yourself 
to being loyal to the true fruits and the true gifts of just like being pure and happy, you know? It's like wanting better and doing better. Something about controlling your mind and recognizing who you are. It's opening and, and like really dedicating yourself to this like new path and this new belief. What is this? The King of Wands? Is this the King of Wands? This is the King of Wands and what is this? The Six of Swords. So, this is basically telling me, again, like I said, the flame. It's like now that I got myself to the point where my passion is like, this is like the phoenix. It's like you're like the phoenix. It's like a firebird. Y'all remember firebird cars? Y'all remember firebird? I don't know if you like muscle cars, like firebirds or like mustangs or something, but I'm not getting a mustang. I'm getting a firebird. Like a bright, a, 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 a shiny apple red firebird with the like, that little engine like vroom, vroom, vroom. like it's like as you like skirting off you can see the fire and the flames like coming out of the tailpipe or whatever it's just like you on fire and it's time for you to go back to what you know and where you belong to be whatever this state of existence it was that with all these negative swords and things like that and your stress, your fears, your anxieties were getting in the way of where that third chakra was telling you to go to get away from this. It's like once you got yourself balanced and you got your faith back, your belief in yourself and your belief in your ability and remembering who the fuck you are as this eternal child of the light, this eternal child of the sun. Because remember, the feminine energy is the moon. The masculine energy is the sun. So it's like about really being the man that God created you to be. Like the true counterpart, the true other half. Like being a true man of the sun. Something about you having to let go. It was about your thinking. It was about the way you were carrying. The way you were thinking had to do with the low vibrational way that you were carrying on in some aspects. And how you were, um, what does it say? You were losing grip. And why you were feeling it was okay to isolate yourself and it's not alone. If this thing didn't happen, I don't feel, I don't feel that you would have. We gathered your faith and we gathered your control. Because this, this motherfucker wanted you to stay in this seclusion right here. He really, really did. Let's see what the little mama has to say. Yeah, and you see how like she's protecting her sheep? It's like I'm taking my sheep with me. And do you see it? how this girl is like she's setting a... Uh, uh, a line in the, in, the, in the sand or something. You know what I'm saying? She's creating a line. She's setting a boundary. And she's like protecting her sheep. And it's like, just don't cross this line and we good. I don't know who this is that you're setting a boundary with. Whoever this was. Because there was someone that you feel like you were attached to. That, had, that was pulling you down. You know what I'm saying? And now you're ready to stand up. You found your way to stand up with that temperance. It's like, I'm not allowing all of that dumb ass shit. It's something that someone was saying, someone was doing, that you were allowing that shit to creep in your mind and, and have doubts on yourself. And it's like, now that you got your faith back and you realize that you're the eternal child of the sun, it's like you're able to shine again and you like your reflection in the mirror. Look the sun. I tell you, look the sun. Happiness, rebirth childbirth like i'm serious either you're being reborn again listen rebirth happiness after like having this represents determination like you know having obstacles in your way 
and be determined and having a stamina to climb that motherfucking mountain. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like as long as the sun is shining, I'll be able to find my way to fuck up out of this bitch. It's like as long as the sun is shining, I will always be able to fight another day. This is someone that is not giving up regardless of whatever obstacles. You know what I'm saying? I am the eternal child of the sun. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what delays or challenges you set before me. It will not stop me. Do you understand what I'm saying? It will not stop me. The journal. Listen, that fell out right there by that devil. It's something. It's something that you were reading. It was something that you were reading that I felt like was giving you some type of stress and anxiety. It's like you were trying to find some type of secret. So some type of remedy to something. And... They said it was something that you normally don't do. I don't know if you were reading some type of messages or some type of passages or something in some type of books. And you don't normally read those type of books or something like that. Or you wouldn't normally check someone's messages or something. Or listen to this type of message. It was some type of message that you wouldn't normally be feeding into. But... For some reason, you did. Yeah, and again, you being determined to get over these challenges and whatever this delay is, you're still moving forward and you're offering your love. You're still offering yourself to life in a very positive and upbeat way. You know what I'm saying? And you do see that there's love right here. It's like the Hierophant took you under your under his wing to educate you and really show you who you are. Look at what's on this love. Look at the lilies. That's a spiritual love. That fell right there on top of the lovers, the, li the lilies. You know, the king of spades represents, in a high vibrational term, it represents a man that is very, very knowledgeable, very smart, very wise, very analytical. Someone that you would look at as a very good judge of character. This is someone that uh, people would come to with their problems so they could figure out how to make the correct judgment call on something. You know what I'm saying? So you went through all of this stuff to like give you a level of peace and spiritual harmony. Do you understand what I'm saying? A level of stability. Um, the lilies also represents like um, monogamy, like a very monogamous relationship. Like if this person is offering, they're offering lilies because it's like, they want to honor this typically like white lilies, peace, purity, you know what I'm saying? Like this also represents someone older, you know? So let's get into, okay, you got the locket. So this locket over here fell, it, it fell over here on this book. It fell on his book. So. Hold on. Hold on, you guys. Because my children are just like. Hold on. Hey, you guys. I'm recording and I can hear you, okay? Alright. So. It was like someone was reading something. I feel like this is like some twin flame shit. I feel like this is like some type of twin flame shit. So. It's like somebody was reading some type of. Uh, like love book, some type of romantic secret, some type of remedy, some type of potion, some type of elixirs. That's on top of the devil. So that's like some type of witchcraft or something to like attract love or something. Or or you could have been listening to like twin flame shit. Like, oh, this person is going to come back. This, 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 and that. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. And it's like there could have been like a obsessive addiction to like trying to keep reading or studying or finding out the mysteries or like I said someone trying to do spells or something like that to make someone come back to them or to allure someone and get someone's attention in some type of way I mean it that's what this fell on it fell right there y'all seen it the journal that means like a book something hidden something secret you know what I'm saying to to Obtain the ultimate success with that ten of diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Like studying something, like some type of powerful mis. Cause the the devil in the reverse it does represent witchcraft. Cause in any type of devil, 
you always see like a book laying down somewhere like you know especially with a candle like yeah so i don't know if that was what someone was doing and they probably shouldn't have did them. Not, I probably shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have been doing that shit. Because it's not something that you normally would have did any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? Don't be putting no red peppers on candles or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the hell type of weird ass shit that y'all be doing. But whatever you did, I feel like it backfired on you. It didn't do anything but delay your progress forward or this could have been someone doing this shit to y'all and this could have been something that was secret or hidden from you but you still allowed yourself to get balanced and tempered and, and i really do not like because when people be coming to me like oh someone was doing candle magic you're listen none of that shit is more powerful than my god do you understand none of that shit a candle cannot fucking scare me do you understand and that, that, that is what, like, someone had to realize, I really do think. Because if someone was, like, stressing about someone doing some type of low vibrational candle magic on them and some shit, and it was delaying you closing some chapters because it was creating some fears or worries for you, but at the same time, once you decide to temper yourself and block that shit, and or to don't be, don't fuck with other people free will because this shit will backfire on you. Do you understand? I always tell people that if you want to bring peace in your life, it's no problem. If you want to put a little bit of lavender on buns or some rose oil on your candle and you're praying and you're dedicated over your peace and your happiness, do you understand? By all means, do that. Even if you want to attract some money or something, if you want to take some fucking cinnamon uh, uh, sticks and you want to drop a couple of or some mint leaves and you want to drop them in your wallet or rub some patchouli oil over your wallet or something ain't nothing wrong with that because you ain't fucking with nobody's free will but to fuck with someone's free will that ain't cool you understand what i'm saying and y'all have to understand that this shit will always backfire whatever you put out you will always get as above so below tenfold and god will make you regret for fucking with that shit. And your will come back to me. You understand? And I don't know why I had to go all deep like that. But this is literally. What it's telling you. It's like. Their God is not powerful than our God. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you let a fucking candle scare you. Then you believe every, You believe all of that shit. But once you temper yourself. And you listen. To what God is trying to teach you. What God is trying to show you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, you will. Listen, you got. Look, and then look, you got the ring. There go that offer of love. There go the true commitment. There go the true marriage. Then you got the four leaf clover, baby. There go the luck, the prosperity, and all of your wishes being granted. And then there goes the child. I'm trying to tell you someone is most definitely going to end up in a committed relationship where it's going to end up in like loyalty, a loyal commitment. Y'all are going to grow old with each other with this. It's, do you understand what I'm saying? This is the way that you get love. Not that way. Once you get yourself tempered and balanced and you truly dedicate yourself and listen to what God is trying to tell you because you're not alone. You were just drifting. God had to snatch you and earth your ass down. And it might seem like the coronavirus might have did it, but you were too busy. God set all of us down. And he's teaching all of us a lesson. All of us a lesson. You got the lovers. You got the ace of cups. You got the king of wands. And then you got the six of swords. That's completely walking away from that shit. Look, having a determination to walk away from that shit and still... Be couraged enough to offer yourself and to still be receptive to love. I love that shit. I love that. Let me get one more and let me get the hell up out of here. What is it saying? It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change what is beyond your control. Loosen up. Loosen up. You are not alone. Allow these connections to happen. Allow these bonds to happen. Allow that fire to continue to grow. And every day, just continue with that determination to keep going. Every, every, every day. 
It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories you have shared with those that you love. So stop secluding yourself. That's what this motherfucker wants you to do. It's like, people go this way looking for love or trying to call the love back to them. That God didn't want you to have that. If God wanted you to have it, God would have let you keep it. That's something that you got to see. You got to stop holding on to shit that's hurting you. And that is stagnating your world from moving forward. Listening to a stupid motherfucker like that. When if you listen to what God is trying to say, God got something way better from you. You just have to be determined and listen and stay focused. This hardship, this, this, this delay, this challenge is not forever. It's to see who are the ones that are really determined to go the easy way or to fight for longevity. You know? Oh, freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. You can always go wish on moons and stars and stuff, but you better make sure that you're paying attention to who you Wishing on moons and stars too. Because remember it says coping mechanism. Defense. Addictions. Let God in. You know. Only. A fool would really want to keep their self in seclusion. What real person doesn't want love? What real person doesn't want happiness? What real person. Wants to be alone? Nobody. So if you. Are believing that at this point in time, it is a coping mechanism, and you need to listen and temper yourself and let God in because you're not alone. Like this says, isolation, physical connection, community you need that bond, you need that love. God wants you to know you're deserving of that love, and every step that you're taking to get out of this dark forest that's this shit it is worth it, it is so worth it. Let me get one more and then we up out of here, Leo. Shit, y'all got the fucking hierophant. Y'all got the ma Like, y'all about to get married. All of this shit. Like, this shit is amazing. Oh, fucking amazing. It's about not, like, don't be giving it to no type of fears. None of that shit. All of that shit is over. That's why the Ten of Swords was right there. Look, the King of Pentacles. Yes, God. The Eight of Swords. And what is this? The Knight of Pentacles. So, it's like you guys are determined to break your way out of a situation where you felt that you were entrapped and there wasn't a way. Because at the end of the... Look, when you look at this shit, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to give. And you're smart enough... To put the planning and put, because again, look, look at all this light. You have a lot of daytime, free time and free energy to plan, plot, strategize, to educate yourself and do whatever the fuck it is that you need to do to be successful. So this is also telling me that someone got an ingenious idea of like how to make some money. While they ain't home. Something where you barely have to make movement. Because the Knight of Pentacles is someone that barely makes movements. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can, they're connected. You know what I'm saying? Like, either you have, like, an animal breeding thing that you do. Um, There's something that you build stuff. Like, the King of Pentacles is something that builds stuff. That deals with animals. That um is, like, a maintenance man that fixes stuff. That does, like... Stuff with their hands. Deals with plants, animals, the earth or something. It's like something in this way that you can do to be successful at this point. I feel like there is some type of mental hold. There's some... There's something that this devil, because this represents bondage. It represents being trapped. It represents not being able to see like a lack of intelligence as well you know what i'm saying because none of those so like because if this was me if i knew i was near that much goddamn swords 
I done went and rubbed myself up on the side of one of them. I would have broke free. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have got free up out of that situation. It's like, that's not really being trapped to me. So, it's like using your other senses to pay attention even when you your hands are tied and your eyes is bound. There's still other ways. There's still other ways. Because this person still feels in some way like somebody or something kind of has a stronghold on them. Where it's like, I can't move. Again, strength. And the Ace of Cups. So it's like, your way out of this is self-love and strength. Like I said, that determination is still let that sun shine in your heart. And to get over this challenge like a motherfucker soldier. Still loving, still determined. You know, it's about faith. It's about your integrity. It's about your inner beauty and your inner strength. And it's like you got it. And it's like you smart as shit. And I don't even feel like there's no lack of resources. There is like no lack of resources. So you should be good. Look, and they go to fucking sun crowning it, crowning it all. These are just your own thoughts. They're your own fears. They're your own anxieties that was put there in place by the devil. Because it's like for some reason you went searching. You went and offered yourself to this motherfucker in some way. In search of some type of love. Or trying to regain some type of love. Or searching for secrets. Trying to figure out where love went. And it's like you got trapped up in a toxic, addictive way. Where it's hard for you to walk away from whatever it is that he's showing you you know what i'm saying so you could even be ex obsessed with keep looking and going back and watching somebody online or doing something and it's like the more and more you keep looking at it the more and more you're going to be trapped and you have to be strong enough to be reborn and see what god is trying to give you like this it's like some, some child. A child is going to be born. I'm trying to tell you. By the end of this year. There will be a child. There will be a Rona baby. There will be a Rona baby. As if there was a Leo. Someone fucking with the Leo. Because this Corona thing. Sat this motherfucker down. And realized that they were entrapped in their own unhappiness because they were listening to this motherfucker trying to keep this bitch trapped in their fears. And like I said, ever, if it wasn't you that went look, looking into some bullshit or maybe someone tried to do a little hocus pocus over the top of a magic candle for you, I ain't scared of no fucking candle, y'all. Give a fuck about nobody praying over no motherfucking candle. You better, you better fear my God. The fuck? <laughs> I ain't scared of no candle. Not the way my God move. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know about y'all, but listen, I'm about to get up out of here. Because <laughs> I literally, I had to tell somebody that in my, um, in my study group, I have a study group, y'all. I literally had to tell somebody just the other day because they was like, I feel like someone doing candle magic on me. What do I do? The normal thing that you normally do, balance yourself, show yourself some self-love and principle and continue to um, do your normal praying and, and all this stuff and tell God what's going on and watch how God work. And standing there knowing that my God is powerful than anybody that could ever think that they can ever hurt me. And watch how God take care of that shit. Child, I do not allow nobody to put no stress and no worry over me. Child, listen, I love myself too much. I be so fully immersed in, in that knowing. The way I love myself and the way God love me. Child, touch not God's anointment. God will come and swoop down and fuck them up. Y'all better know that. <laughs> do you understand? Y'all better know that. Nobody's scared of no motherfucking candle. Listen, y'all best listen. This has been y'all's reading. You are not alone. Do not lose your grip. Do not isolate yourself. Feel love, be love, and accept love because that's what you need to do. Listen, open up your heart, that cosmic heart of yours, and understand that the Lord is earthing you and that you will be married and that you will have a child and you will be happy and all that shit, tra-la-la, -la, and, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, okay? 
So, regardless if you want to or not, God did not put you here on this earth. He did not earth you for you to be alone. That part. I'm done. If y'all want to book a reading, y'all know what to do. Y'all hit that about tab. Peace.